Doppler effect for EM waves. The Doppler effect, remember, is the way that waves seem to stretch out or compress when objects move at different relative velocities. Now, with the Doppler effect, we saw, uh, with, we saw this with mechanical waves in terms of sound, where as an object moves towards an observer, the frequency increases, whereas when it moves away from an observer, the frequency decreases. This same frequency change occurs with EM waves. We call these uh, different frequency changes by a different name. So blue shift. A blue shift is any decrease in wavelength or increase in frequency when a light source moves towards an observer. So for example, I have light source here and an observer over here. So as this, as this uh, light source moves towards the observer, we call this a blue shift. And what happens is the wavelength decreases and the frequency increases. And what happens is the light that this observer sees shifts towards the blue end of the visible light spectrum, which has a uh, higher frequency. Now, the opposite is what we call a redshift. A redshift is any increase in wavelength decrease in frequency when a light source moves away from an observer. So uh, setting up the same example, we have the light source here. And we have this moving away from the observer this time. So the observer is over here. Okay. So what happens with frequency or what happens with wavelength is that wavelength increases, frequency decreases. Okay. And since the frequency is uh, decreasing, the light appears to shift towards the red end of the visible spectrum. So we see something closer to the red end. That's what we call this a red shift.